Hey, what's going on guys? The latest kit in Korobukiya's Sousai Shoujo Teian line is here, Ritsuka Saeki. So this will be the third main kit in the line and there's been a couple of accessory kits also released which we'll be taking a look at actually in a following video to this one, so stay tuned for that. But for now, let's take a look at Ritsuka and see what the kit looks like. All right, so in the front of the box, once again, we're greeted with some beautiful illustration and work there of the character. You got the signature down there and very nice. So those will be attractive up on the shelf. On the ends of the box, you got just kind of the same thing. There's letting you know this is a 1 10th scale full action plastic model kit. If we go around here onto the side, it's vertical format showing another illustration here compared to the actual kit. Now this is the, showing the kit all painted there. Here are some of our face and hair option parts you can see there, and then some skirt parts and accessories. We'll have a backpack and a cell phone in there. Things that every student needs. The other side of the box is showing what the kit looks like, just straight built out of the box without any paint, so you can see what that looks like. And then there's the face options there. There's our water slide decals we're going to have included. So basically, she's a very happy-go-lucky kind of character, I guess, because she's always got this big smile on her face and you know, winking pose there as well. The list price for this one is here at 6,000 yen for this which is pretty standard, pretty normal if you're, if you're used to building these kind of mecha musume kits. In this case, it's just musume, not mecha, but from Kodobukiya, it is a pretty standard price for something with this box about this size. Let's take a look at the instruction manual here first. Just features the same artwork that's on the front of the box. Inside of the box here, showing some more images of the kit and some illustrations of the character with like different moods there of the, with the face, different hairstyles. And then over here showing uh, some mixing and matching of the parts Seeing the head of like from the previous release of Koyomi together with this body just for making some different uh, ways to customize this also by just switching the face part from a different kit. Here's some illustration work of the clothes and then the suitcase accessory set which is sold separately. We'll be taking a look at that in the next video. So it looks like we've got a couple things in here which I guess this is a correction to the instructions so just make sure you pay attention to that. And then our parts list here is a separate page for some reason. I guess there was just a little bit of a mix up in the production of this manual, but anyway, you got the parts list page all here in color, which is nice, or I guess just because that's in color, so it's separate. Uh, the instructions are all just, of course, in black and white. So we'll go through all of those. And again, it's kind of cute that they have these little bits in here along the way where there's some text. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what that's saying, I'll have to get that and translate, but it's just kind of, it seems like just kind of commentary about the build kind of along the way, which is fun. You actually have a bunch of that all throughout and then there's just some uh, instructions here about how like some of the articulation works on the kit and mixing and matching some parts so you can use like Megami device heads with this or mixing with different option sets and things like that so all very good and well at the last part of the manual here we have the original color simulation where it just gives you some line art so in case you wanted to like scan this into your computer and try out some different color schemes using Photoshop or whatever beforehand before you're going to do some custom painting. This is really nice to be able to have this and you can drop those into this color section right here. And over here is the color and decal guide if you just want to go for the recommended colors for the kit. So those are all listed down there at the bottom and decals obviously just, just for the eyes so that's simple enough but that is it. Let's go ahead and check out the runners. So first off here's a look at the water side decals you have included. Of course these look of excellent quality and you have lots of options there to choose from if you end up wanting to repaint or use some different options there for the faces. You've got our typical hand tree here which is consisting of a few different types of holding hands for a couple of different items. You got your pointing finger hands some more holding hands there, some open expressive hands, open resting hands, or this is the hands for holding the coffee cup, and then some just kind of open, not exactly closed fist, but some kind of closed hands there. Here are our four different face option parts there, winking, happy, oh, we got a little bit different one there, angry face, and another smiling face. Then we got this, this soft piece, which I think is just for the straps for the backpack, so that looks interesting, we'll see how that works. And some pre-printed parts here, one for the stomach piece where there's the gold buttons are pre-printed on there, Those, that looks really nice. And then the white stripe pre-printed around all of our different skirt option parts, which also looks great. And getting into the runners, runners A, B, C, and D are all in this blonde hair color for all of our different hair parts and some different hair option parts. So we'll have a lot of different options there for that, as you can see. 
Burner E is gonna be our skin tone parts, so mostly like some arms and thighs, and that's kind of about it. Parts for like the back of the head. Burner F is also skin tone parts, it's just for the blank faces. If you wanna end up using the water slide decals on these, you can use those. Burner G is in this kind of teal color for a couple of parts there for the body. Mostly this is just where the parts were cut off for the pre printing, so not a whole lot left on the G runner there. Burner H is in a nice cool white color for some parts for the clothing. Burner I is in a light baby blue color here for the pants. Runner J is just a couple more little parts there in white. Runner K is in a very nice kind of uh, soft satin finish here for some parts for the legs mostly there it looks like. This is in a nice kind of maroon color which I think is supposed to simulate basically like black leggings over skin tone so if you imagine like the thin black over the color of skin it would be sort of maroon like this which just seems like that's what that's supposed to, this color is supposed to imitate. Runners L and M are here in this very dark brown color for the shoes and then for the bag. Runner N is a couple pieces here in light yellow, basically just for the stand. Runner O is our singular red piece here for the ribbon. We have two P runners, which is basically just some joint parts there in skin tone for the wrist joints. Runner Q is some parts here in white for the inner part of the skirt. Then Runner U is in that same light yellow color for the puzzle piece stand for the kit. So that is going to be everything, guys. As you can see, there's a good amount of stuff in there, but these kits do go together pretty quickly from my experience, so they don't really take all that long to put together. But at least with this one, it looks like we've got a lot of really nice options in there, so I think it'll be looking pretty good. Let me go ahead and get it put together and see how she looks. All right, so here she is all built up, and just like the previous two kits out in the line, the construction went pretty quick. There's a number of seam lines here and there, like on the arms, the legs, and that's all pretty standard for any of the Mecha Masume lines. But overall, the colors are nice. The plastic finish is also quite nice. You have that nice satiny finish on all the clothing parts, and a little bit more glossy, like on the hair. The color separation and the pre-painting is all quite nice with the separate piece, like for like the tie on the shirt, and then like the little gold buttons and the white stripe around on the skirt. It's all really nice. So even if you don't plan on doing anything else with this, you just want to build it up straight out of the box and put it up on your shelf or whatever. It's going to be a very nice kit just straight out of the box without anything else done to it. And you have a lot of accessories that you can play around with. So let's take a look at those. One thing that's great about the accessories is that aside from just optional hair parts, I mean, you have all the parts to make them just as optional full heads. So you don't have to actually take anything apart when you want to switch hairstyles. You really only have to take off the bangs part if you want to swap the face option because you already have the full heads which are just easy to swap off and as far as the hair options go they all look great this ponytail style looks really nice very dynamic you can change the angle and the position of that for however you might like this just long hair down like that looks great as it is but it's not going to show very much movement or anything basically it's just like this one very fixed solid pose you have some seam line here on the inside but the outside is okay. And the braids also look really nice. This seam line on these is hidden right there where the braids actually connect in and you can pop that off and swap out for the one that's moving. So you can mix and match between the two different like moving ones and the ones that are just straight down. So those look really nice and are a good third option. Now we do also of course have the backpack. Now getting the backpack strap like woven in there into this part was a little bit confusing. So just make sure you pay attention to the manual and you should be able to, to adjust that pretty fine without actually pulling that piece out of there like that. But that looks nice as it is. The detail on there looks good. Definitely painting in that and bringing out some of the details will benefit the look of that overall though. And same thing with the phone just being this basically little white brick. It does have some nice detail molded in, but with it just being all white, it's kind of hard to really see anything. So definitely some painting, maybe printing out something to stick onto the screen of that to look like a phone screen would be an easy way to improve the look of that if I can hold it in my hands. And then for our skirt options, here is just the resting version. And to change that, you just need to pull this apart take that out put the different skirt on there and put this back on and now you have your version of that that's kind of blowing in the wind for if she's running or jumping or if it's a particularly windy day and then our third option requires a little bit more kind of parts forming i guess if you will so you have this version of the hip section and the thighs that's just kind of all molded stuck in this pose like that and the skirt that fits over the top of that so that goes on to there like so and then you just need to take out the lower part of the legs and then you've got your crossed legs for sitting on a chair or whatever you might want to have this sitting on which looks great so it's nice that they gave you an option to make this kind of parts even though it's just like a fixed pose thing just for doing different poses with the kit it's a really nice option to have 
base itself is also quite nice, just like with the Megami device kits, it's just on a ball joint there at the bottom, and the top part is also on a ball joint. And we have a couple options here for the connection piece. So you have this one, and then you have another version of that, which just adds like a little bit extra height onto that for plugging it into our back. And then you have this one, which just has like a vertical connection piece, and that's for plugging it up underneath the backpack. So if you're gonna have the backpack on the back, that is going to fill in that hole where you could plug the base onto, but if you have the backpack on there, then you have a hole on the bottom side of the backpack, which you'll use with this connection piece like that. So that'd be where your connection to the base will plug into. And yeah, this little part keeps wanting to pop out of there on the backpack. So you may put a little bit of glue or something on that if you want to make sure this piece doesn't get lost or anything. So look at like this on its own is relatively basic. And like I said, the construction of it, it's not very complicated. It's a pretty quick build. Uh, this kind of kit just really benefits from having a lot of accessories and you do have a nice assortment of accessories just here in the box but of course you can use all sorts of other different stuff they have the official accessory sets that they're making uh, in this line as well and then there's all sorts of other different accessory sets that you can get like from Hasegawa I think also makes a number of them uh, that are in also 1 12th scale that you could use with this or basically anything that's around like 1 12th even possibly like 1 10th scale around there should work pretty well and while it would be nice if these were more compatible with different frame arms girls and Megami device kits and things like that they're not that well compatible with them like obviously I think you can switch the heads with some of them and then like modifying the our limbs if you wanted to put like the limbs of a frame arms girl onto this or something like that or vice versa I don't think it'd be too difficult to modify but I just mean to say that and I suppose this is probably on purpose with these kits, the more of this series of kits that you buy, including like the main kits and the accessory sets, the more enjoyable you have with all the different options and things that you can do with them. I imagine that was on purpose, of course, just to get you to buy more of them, but it definitely does benefit the more of them you have. You can mix and match things and just have a lot of fun with these. So I'm definitely enjoying the line. I do wish that the stuff coming out in this line was a little bit cheaper. They are kind of expensive, but it just kind of seems like uh, Kotobuki has kind of got fans of these kits over a barrel really where you don't really have a whole lot of options. So. Definitely let me know you guys' thoughts on this line of kits down in the comment section below. Are you collecting them or not? Is this something you're interested in? Definitely let me know. Of course, if you want to check out some of the kits and the other Mechamasume kits from Kotobukiya and everything else, uh, you can check those out at USA Gundam Store. The link and coupon code for you guys to use will be down in the video description below, as always. And I hope this review was helpful for you guys if you're interested in this particular line of model kits. I enjoy them quite a bit. I'm looking forward to hearing your guys' thoughts on this new release. Thank you all so much for your support. Liking the video, commenting, subscribing is greatly appreciated. Until next time, Time. Hope you guys are all having a great day. I'll see y'all later. Bye guys.